Well, good morning, guys. It is Sunday, February 16th. I'm Gunnar. I'm Dine. Call me Dine. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Return of Toho Mother Blind. We are still in control of the Komaiji sisters. We are. We have left off at the Scarlet Devil Mansion. And the only way to go is south. And that, along that path that the ants were blocking yesterday. I did a little off screen grinding to at least gain one more level. Probably didn't need to, but you never know. Now, let's see if these little ants will let us by this time. Okay, indeed they have. The Garden of the Sun has been relocated due to consistent use as a trade route by humans. Now that, that, that we're gonna run into Yuka? Hope so. Let's see if these enemies are different. Oh, they're the same. I'll probably try to avoid them as much as possible. Oh, it's, that, that is a Pokeball in the background. I couldn't quite make it out at first. Just the way it was... swerving back and forth. Free Bridal Crown, even though it's a dead end. Can't complain that much. That's a little boost in defense. I wonder, can... Satori equip it? Yeah, better, better give it to her. What? Oh, I still better give it to Koichi. Holy cow! Defenses. Much lower. I'm trapped. I really couldn't tell you which is the worst enemy to fight in here. I think they either the Poopachu or the Fairies. The Fairies only do one each. Now while playing earlier, this remember if the song was used in a Toho game or not, I'd have to double check. Sounds like it came from one of the fighting games, I'm not 100% sure. Yes, if I had to compare it to something, it would be to the octopi that roam the fields. So the statues talk right now. I might as well take advantage of the save point, even though we got, what, two screens so far? <laughs> Now, I turned the music volume down to about half. So, if, it, if, it's, if it's louder, if it needs to be, let me know. Daichan, once upon a time, a yokai named Yuka Kazami went somewhere far away. And she took all the sunflowers that used to bloom with her. I don't know if she was tired of things or what. The simple fact is, she's vanished. No, she won't be joining our party. We're in prison, remember? Lately, everyone seems so... what's the word? Uh, not enjoying themselves. They just are serious with sad faces. The saddest faces. Everyone's feeling this weird tension. They gotta have more fun with, you know, living. Oh, I just start my timer. <laughs> hey, there's Marissa. She's probably the one we have to talk to. Yet another save point. I'm gonna talk to Marissa last. I'm tired of living. Can, are stones even alive? Man, that's deep. I oh, can't rest on the bench. Do they not want visitors? There's a hell of a hot barrier in the way. That's actually not ants. And can I come up this way? Indeed I can. I'm sick of having to clean up my house, I just moved out of the group, does it? <laughs> yeah, that's Marissa. These are definitely new. Light man and another fairy. Well... Got 80 HP. Not too bad. They just hit harder. But the experience is only about half as 1.5 times as good. But might as well talk to Marissa. Corindo's real busy with moving stuff today. Sorry, but whatever you want's gotta wait. Say, did you see those Pig Macs playing rugby? What the bullets was that all about? Is that? Where'd they pork off to? The Forest of Magic, I guess. Oh, well, I was going the right way. Didn't need to talk to Marissa after all. Well, let us give chase.
Now yeah, we fight you guys last time. Oh, another fridge. Oh. <laughs> Cold sleep engage. HP and PP are fully restored, but you're still hungry. I, I, I'm amazed it's not in there. Complete dead end. There are no ants at your feet. Okay. Yeah, well, thank you for letting us know that fact, game. Well, of course, Mima's grave was over here, but not anymore. Heavy battle, eh? So lower. And higher for Satori. We have walking pizza, guys! <laughs> Heated pizza. Oh, it's leftover too. That's what happens if you leave food in the fridge too long, everyone. Melty hot cheese. Oh, snap. I probably want to save my side points for healing if, if group attacks this early in the game. Let us follow the advice I gave on Dragon View. Always walk off the beaten path to get the good stuff. Another save point. I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing, because it's possible to get yourself stuck. Well, I don't have whatever opens that, so we obviously come back later. Anything new? No, we fought these guys. Oh, man. Oh, that, that was the Tories. Oh. At least you're not allowed to miss. using side beam, but since I have no idea how long this place is, get another one. Should I keep a save point count on this? Holy cow. A complete dead end here. More enemies. Another branching path. No presents. It's not Christmas for us today. No chocolates for us on Valentine's Day. Plans were to open the fastest route to Ante, but it was completely just ruined the it just completely ruined the area instead. Well, paving will do that to you. Didn't you see the ending of Illusion of Gaia? Actually, now that I think about it, that that paved road probably is the off-beaten path at this point. That sign had to say. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, that's actually just a shortcut. Okay. I should have should have paid attention to the sign. Nothing in this corner. Walking, 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 walking right on down the path. Walking, 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 walking right on down the path. I, I'm reminded of the Deku Palace from. Uh, Majora's Mask with this theme. Now we got a new enemy. We'll kill it. Koichi, what do you keep missing lately? Ah, oh, poison. Hey, that's why Satori learned healing. The wild native... Uh, the wild native faith, you psychokinesis! My voice still cracks. I'm 31 years old. My voice still cracks. Why? Good. Nope. There's life up, which she learned a while back. Much better. Not two smashes in a row, it was a two of face. This is why I hate leftovers. Decent experience, though. Eh, is the toy still poisoned? I don't look like it. This is a 
this hit me back to the road? Probably does. Oh, I just would. But there may be treasure along here. You gotta explore every single oh, look and cranny. I actually don't know which one is, is, wor is worse, the statue or the, or the pizza. As long as they don't miss, I can often... Oh, oh, well. Can you hypnotize a mind reader? That's a... That, that's a question for the day. Ah. Oh. Much better. PK throw, that's a new one. Oh, cups of life noodles, that's the game's way of saying, oh, you're screwed. Curl <laughs> a single target, alright. Wonder if it's the, like the telekinesis move that Azala does in Chrono Trigger. Got a bone? Whose bone? Your bone, my bone, a Pikachu bone. We skinned him! Yeah, at least a torch would have been. Yeah, when, when Smash Brothers first came out, of course this was back when Pokemon was getting really popular when I was growing up, and I couldn't stand it. So of course when we played Smash Brothers, anyone who played as a Pokemon was my first target. This could not stand it. Hey, those are... Those guys that make out Goku into a moron! I don't think one would have anything to do. Uh, I mean... Huh? Even the sky. Uh, oh, it's you! Long time no spree! Uh, yes, it's been a while, Mr. Tori. Uh, Lady Yaksika, your body! No, it's fine. There's nothing to be done now. Huh? Rain? Miss Conoco, would you mind explaining that translucent body you have going on? You have no business! No, Sanai. I said it's fine. We can talk to these people. I smell a depressing development afoot! Understood. If you say so, Lady Conoco. Lady Yasaka will very soon disappear. Because... Even Gensokyo's humans find no good, no need for a god anymore, it seems. Just like in the outside world, gods are becoming something unseeable and unfeelable. It may have been about the time of the incident six months ago that Lady Yasaka realized this. Modern culture has, has kept creeping in, and the same fate will befall us eventually. I joined civilization hoping that it would prevent it from coming to be. But that was too much to hope for. I should have known that. I'm sorry, Lady Kanako. I'm so sorry. Now, now. It's fine. Now. And hoping to fulfill her last wish, you went once more to the human village. Yes. There's no hiding anything from you, I know. But, it was no use. We're as old hat as an endless summer vacation. Zing! No one would lend an ear. Not for anything. But, I believe in you. Thank you so much! So long as one or two still believe in you, you won't disappear, correct? Well, yes. She won't disappear, but she'll lose her form, become invisible, be rendered speechless. Enough, said I. There's no use in going on with such talk. Yes. We'll try our hardest. It isn't over. Quite yet. That is so sad. went back to Makai. But yeah, this was her house. That free energy charge. Yeah, we can't just sit here. But Sanai was one of the heroines in the last incident. Yeah, things have kind of gone to hell in the bat hand basket around here. Keep going. Oh, oh, that was fast. Oh, holy pork! 
Oh, holy pork, the greatest meat of all. It would seem our path has been blocked. Oh, great, and they've caught up too. Well, engage in battle. Three pig masks, one wearing a Voltron a tiara. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these new abilities. One out of three ain't bad. Bring up Satori! No! <laughs> this could be bad. Oh, oh, closest call yet. Now, we, now can we finally take a good look see at this thing? Yes, I suppose. Yet this egg mystifies me. Just what it could, could it be, I wonder. You mean, you chase us all this way, and you don't know anything about it? Yes, you are exactly right. However, I would find it not so odd if it were that you do not know anything as well. Anything as well. Yes. It is most unfortunate. I would say that ordinary living humans know nothing of it. Unbelievable. You stuck your nose in with incredible promptness. It's been some time. Six months at the least. Hello! Yeah, I, did, I honestly didn't know it was Yukari, so I know I knew what voice you were. Oh man, sis! This dodo has got to know it all! Alas, not even, not, not even a yokai such as a Tori shall see through me. Well, I'm trying, but wait. Is this? Whose hearts are these? Foolish monsters, I am Orin the Hunter! Hand over your scales! Enough is enough! I've had it with these snakes! Yukari, I see you're diverting me to read into other people's hearts. You are so correct, but it is necessary. Some things simply cannot become known. If everyone knew how to use this egg for one, it would be devastation. Utter devastation! Not even I would be willing to risk such a thing. I'm not often interested in most things, but you've piqued my interest there. So really, what is with this egg, anyway? Yes, well, it concerns the memories of the stars. Star memories? Now then, I shall be taking this back with me. Don't cut the conversation short! But there's only one thing to do, isn't there? Do Yokai believe you can and will take this by force, do you? Yes, is my answer, and I'm sticking to it. Then I must show you the meaning of pain! An incident on the level of the prior one must be prevented at any cost. Uh... Okay, good. <laughs> I was so scared that I wouldn't be healed. Now PK throws me. Very handy. Yes, probably won't work, but never hurts to try. 63, very nice. Five Magnet Alpha? No, that's... Second PP from my healer. A PK throw is definitely the way to go for her. It's a fox token. I'm gonna stay topped off just to be on the safe side. Quadruple barrier. Well. Not a shield. I can see on the offensive. Just bullets every which way. That, that's her final spell card! 259? <laughs> I'm just doing crazy damage with PK throws against stronger with each use like Mario's jump. Okay, that was too easy because of PK throw. Well, that was a that was a good battle, at least. 99 experience, no level up. Yes, I see you're quite devoted to this. Yes, actually. Which is quite unusual for me, I'll admit. Uh, then I shall leave the egg in your possession for a while. Wait, what? After all, you know absolutely nothing of how to make use of it. Wait, what? 
Furthermore, if I leave it with Yokai, it would put myself at ease as well. It is in your hands. Do not let it into those of any other. Understood? Yes, I get you. Wait, what? We'll take very special care of it then. <laughs> Farewell. Come see me whenever you grow weary. She seems to place a great deal of confidence in us. What do we do now, sis? Send it over to Mayrin Temple or what? No, there's been a change of plans. Let us go to Corindo. Corindo? Even if the shopkeeper knows not how to use it, he may know something of its meaning. And if we can learn more about it, that may perhaps aid in learning its use. Gotcha loud and clear! We got the hummingbird egg. I still have plenty to go for a level up, but the hot spring is nice. You say the same for all three? Yep. And it's either a puddle of poison or some of Yukari's barriers that won't let us through. But, oh, Sanai and Kanako left. You can't, you can't die, Kanako. You're one of my favorites from Mountain of Faith. They did leave us a present, at least. That's just to be on the safe side, especially with all the save points around, but less number of healing spots. Oh, we've only got about 20 minutes. Let us keep going. Might as well take the short path back. Oh, try not to burp, try not to burp. Mm, excuse me. This time we can follow the main path home. I think this this particular song might be I think it's from Chapter Three of Mother Three. I want I want to say so. Kushi is needle bent toward the heart. I don't know. With some of the imagery in her Danmaku, I think her needle's pointed elsewhere. That came out so wrong. I I I I I just have to apologize for that. That was horrible. <laughs> Yeah, spray us with your belt again, oh, <laughs> Experience is still pretty nice, though. Can't complain too much about it at all. Top off our HP. But we're still hungry. Come on. I, I can't believe S, you, for you did not put that in. That Corindo's open. More gifts being scattered around. Despair size. That item description. Just that item description. Oh, it's Chen! Hi, Chen! Everybody's changed loads in six months! While some are getting real worn out, there are some others who are having a ton more fun! I just want to do my best to be useful. I'll continue to serve Ran and you'll be fine. <sighs> I do this huge renovation and do I get any more customers coming in? Man. Business as usual, Zay? Isn't that a good thing? That there aren't lots of customers? Well, I'm not very grateful for it personally. Well, anyway, welcome, I guess. You can purchase anything you see around the shop. So what'll it be? Hey, there are those Earth Spirit guys. Why'd they come all the way out to this decrepit place? What the? What's that? Is that Yukari's egg? Don't make me think about Yukari giving birth. <laughs> but seriously, what is that, a rugby ball? That's what we want to know. Rather, we want your opinion on it. The details are all very foggy, but we know it is something tremendous, at least. I can't believe you brought something like this. Very well, hold on a second. Bargain BEAM! Seriously? <laughs> and even Sis is incredulous. Dragon Quest sound effects. What were all those theatrics? Ah, I haven't seen that one in a long while. You seen that before, Rainbow? So then, what's Force's Ball for? It was made long ago. Perhaps soon after? No. No, this is even older than Gensokyo itself. No, more than even that. Where? Where was? No. 
Uh, suffice it to say, it was made a long, long ago. Perhaps even before Earth was formed. Wait, what? Then how is it here? And why does it remain in from so long? So long ago. You think it was kept cold in a freezer or something? No, I don't think so. This egg cannot be broken. It is unbreakable and always brand new. I know you're getting at something, of course, but I'm kind of at a loss for what it is. Reimu, all things must grow old, yes? If you wore those clothes for ten years straight, they would become rags and be replaced. But this! No such thing ever happens to this egg. It forever continues to be as new as it was the day it was created. As such, it can never, ever be broken, and it will never, ever be forgotten. It holds a power I can't comprehend. So all that hoopla said, what does that make it? It... Are these memories it contains? But whose? A white ship. An ark. Deuce. Weltall. Something called Gears. Oh, wrong series. What am I seeing? This is taking forever! Was there any point to the bargain beam? Hey, don't you interfere! Cora's like Jesus with this stuff, then. I see. It seems this egg preserves some form of memories from people long, long ago. Memories, eh? Yes, and simply that. Memories from an ancient people lie within. I'm sorry, but I can't figure out any more about it than that. Naturally, that includes how it could be opened. Alright, I do think I'm beginning to grasp why one would want to keep this under wraps. Wait, I would like to give it closer inspection, so would you allow me to borrow it for now? Sure thing! Huh? That promptly? Uh, well, I suppose, sure. But on the condition that you must absolutely keep it a secret to those not present here. I know, I know. Honestly, what do you take me for? As proof of my trustworthiness, how about I trade you this? Rusted sword! Oh, we gotta get, we gotta collect sword orbs to restore the sword to man with this one. Hey, wait, isn't that my sword? Are you really gonna use that in a trade? It's the fabled sword of Kurisame. Oh, not the mana sword after all. Though, it's not such a big deal now. But, I mean, it used to be a long time ago. So make sure you don't lose it. Like, be really sure, or Briss is gonna kill us all. Well, anyway, once renovations are complete, you should take a look at my wares. I welcome your business if you have anything to sell me, too. These are all priceless memories! Don't you go pricing them! Ah, very well then. Memories are indeed precious. For when you lose something, you lose the chance to remember it as well. Uh, what do we have in here? Renosuke's room? Is this Marissa's room? Yep. Don't want to open it, everything will come tumbling out. Huh? What do I think about six months ago? Well, I sure don't regret anything I did. I blew stuff up. Though I do seem to recall Ness saying he was responsible for half of it or something. Well, all I can say is that this is simply the way things turned out. Maybe I'll just have to give Corrin something amazing in return, then. Huh? What did I think about six months ago? Well, I... I did the best I could, so I don't, couldn't regret nothing. I mean, I can't think of much anything I might have preferred to do differently. Is the rusty sword any use? No, not bad. Now, there is a dungeon out there uh, called Yami Mari, where Marissa does go Yandere over... over that sword. That zero suit. The company just can't equip it, dang. Not plenty to look at in here. Truly a faded era. Kua God of Metal. Zelda bombs. Or, no, it's Bomberman bombs. Collect the stars, DKC. P became a lot less prominent starting around Porky Road. Come on, they increase our score! Oh, I can't pick these up? Come on! Chain to be found all over Amelia's house. An E, Super Mushroom, makes you big. Missile! Yeah, Mother 3 never explains what they are. If this guy will make a reappearance, I don't quite know who that is. A floppy disk, it has the PC to 98 Toho games on it. Can't play Mother, but you can play Gradius 5. Another PS2? Yep. Yeah, we'll say the same thing. Kusanagi Sword. It has some meaningless price. It also has a warning saying it just might be a replica. You think? 
some kind of shield. Yeah, my dad's getting ready to scrap his old computer. It's the last one we have that has a floppy drive on it. Huh? What do I think of six months ago, you ask? If only I could have... Uh... No, that's enough. Don't bother listening to me. Well, let's see what's in the back room. Untranslated text. Toromaru! Show! 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 Ah, you're... Show, aren't you? You nearly forgot me! How awful! Horrible! Am I just that insignificant to you all? Well, you're a level 5 boss. You're usually one of the most popular in the games. Of course, your subordinate's more popular than you are, I'm afraid. Shut up! Calm down! Drink some goddamn coffee! What? No goddamn tea? Ah, yes, yes! I will! <coughs> oh, oh. What's the matter? You seem rather hasty. Hey, hey, yes, just now! Kenji was taken away by Pigmas! Dude, that's nuts, brah! Can't you just take her back by force? I can't possibly do that! Kenji would get mad and hate me! That's why, I do that's why I don't want to say anything to anyone who made her temple, either! Uh, well, too bad. Sorry you had to come here. Because I'm pretty sure we couldn't do anything. Man, don't talk like that! You must have some wisdom buffer. Well, don't you have humans to help out? They can do something, right? Unfortunately, that arrow's come and gone. My sister Misha Mom has long since given up on trying to guard her face from humans. Maybe. Surely you'd have to propose that by now. Ah, uh, you drank too much coffee there, so. The guys and myself are not being classified as yokai. All those with inhuman power consider yokai and the image of humans. The only ones human will believe in are those who believe themselves as humans. And any who refuse to think the same way are the worst case considered suspicious. Maybe it was a sense the other humans question if you're truly on their side. Ah, I see. Not even bo- Not- Not even bothered, but okay. Hey, what about me? I apologize, but I haven't heard much about you. Well, excuse me, Tigress. Da -da -da -da. But why would the humans be so untrusting? It's often that's for sure. What are they thinking, Holly off Yaki? I can't even begin to guess. We have to get her back or else in the worst case she'll be used to negotiate with the Okai. Ah, regardless of her standoffishness, she seems to be quite popular. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, if that's how it stands, Marissa, let's go. Seriously? And I mean that in both ways. I'm very curious what kind of aim they might have in capturing that dunce. Well, so, I tell you up front we ain't gonna help much, but we'll check things out, eh? It lets us blow things up. Ah. Uh. Uh. Hello? Earth to show? Ah, oh, you're those girls from, uh, the Palace of Earth! Bound. Please, you must let us your power! You ain't hate! We shall have to use force. Is that alright? Yes, I understand. I mean, there sure isn't any other way. Those who defy the gods of history should well received his white punishment for it. Sure, if you're gonna be that extreme! And Toramaru Show is our first guest member. Now let's get their prono. To the human village where Hidri is. Except the human village was destroyed, so maybe Tech could not. Enough of the coffee show! <laughs> Do not forget flames, that reckless courage. Every time I read that, I want to quote. Through fire, justice is served for mischief makers. Uh. Y'all put your mothers to shame! <laughs> the rocks took it the wrong way. We are very bad mothers. Except for the way they're so confident. Hello, Z. It's Moko. You again. This is where New Hinonai City isn't anymore. Actually, now that Porky and the Celestial are gone, it's just been left nameless. Incidentally, what's with the pig mask making a comeback these days? Something's afoot here. I feel it in my guts. Now we got pig mask around town. Ooh, treasure. Two cups of life noodles. Those are our only healing items so far. Reguloid apartment complex. Reguloid is short for regular old. The more you know. Anyone remember those old PSAs? Move! Get out of the way! A housewife is busy at all times! Are, are you that scooter late from your under arrest? What are you guys, cosplayers? Be they fairies or gods or vampires. In any event, they're our enemies because they're unfamiliar to us. So we move them all together and call them yokai. Well, it is a bit of a grouping. Wait, is Mother 3 out already? I know, I'm pretty behind. Yeah, the translation patch has been out for a long while. Maybe you should check out some non-Toho Dota stuff sometime. Well, I did that, but the site got uh, uh, corrupted. Man, you guys look seedy as all get out. Oh, son of! We 
looks like the Genshi's lined the shelves. This isn't the human village, it's Akihibara! You don't really care that much, but where did all those Tsukihime nerds go? I'm in front of this I'm in front of the monitor. I'm one of them. Don't believe me, I'm a healer. Oh, garbage can. Is there a burger inside? Oh, another garbage can. Oh, that's probably a cutscene at the bottom there. Ah, oh, Mr. Guy. My regards to Lady Tenchi. Yes, I wonder if that curse that lousy gaffing hag placed on her can't be lifted in this world. From what I've heard, it's a curse that quickly destroys a person's spirit. Yes, it appears that the curse takes away the five senses. It takes away the heart. Oh, she's going through the training the Pooh had to. It would be like spending an eternity alone in complete darkness. However, should she show any sign of recovery, the Yakumo will come for her again. If that happens, Lady Tenchi is as good as dead. It's surely safer for her in the outside world. Is that alright? For a yokai like me to be trusted to such a task? You are more concerned with the fate of Lady Tenchi than any other yokai. Even if, for example, we were to become your enemies, I know you would still aid Lady Tenchi. If one is either to use some manner of phase distorter, or possess the power on the level of yokai, they can penetrate the Great Border. So go now! We entrust you with Lady Tenchi. Understood. I shall take it as my responsibility. Is this chapter a prologue? I am not quite certain if I am able, but please, leave the rest to me. And away they go. The bus here is busted. The bus is busted. The bus is busted. Bus busted. The bus. Bus I don't... I don't know. I, I hear that tongue twister a lot, but I can't remember it. Lady attention, I wish you luck. Hey, you! How dare you eavesdrop on us! But I'm an adult, so I'm not about to start a fight in public or anything. Well, the cutscene couldn't start until we did eavesdrop on you. After all, I've heard this town is getting a new leader now. We absolutely can't go around making stupid blunders. Hey, Pete, Lady Tenshi, when our two great leaders gone, what can we do? I make rice all day. Every day. If my grandson is happy, then so am I. Say, do you have any grandchildren? Yeah. Uh, huh? Huh? Who on earth? Koichi, answer me. Oh, jeez, sorry, I am. I guess I answered wrong. And... no? Is that so, girls? Well, you do look quite young. Inside the trash can? It's trash. Seriously. Inside the trash can? It's more trash. Still seriously. Seems to be an arcade. Unfortunately, you're all out of quarters. They use tokens where I go. Uh, just trash. I may not look it, but I'm a pig mass too. I'm just on a week-long vacation. I'll take a bath then, pig pen. Oh, come on. It's still edible. RPG items never spoil. Oh, that beloved King P. Wherefore hast thou departed from me? Ah, uh, which way do I want to go here? Oh, they don't let it, you know, they re legalized segregation around here. Oh. Idri! What's this all about? Cut it off, Ma, you said? Because that just looked like following to me. That's where Idri is in great danger, I think. I've got to get out of this habit of the rummaging through trash cans starting now. Unfortunately, my back library page would like to disagree with you. Yeah, let's look around the rest of the area first. There's a nice little invisible wall for us. It's closed! Oh, definitely went the wrong way first. Free gift and pizza place is closed, so we can't get healed up. What does that do exactly? No. Not all faded status effects. That'll come. That'll work. And will it even let us out of the south? We'll let you through if you get down on all fours. 
Oh, we're the ants who steal your dinner. I haven't watched that Garfield episode in a long time, but that song is still super catchy. See the white flag up there? That's from when King P wanted to make a national flag, but couldn't decide on anything. So he figured that was good enough. I choose Kumatora over Paula. <laughs> Earthbound fanboys argue. Apparently some new human from the outside world fixed up some kind of cyborg for us. I think he was also trying to fit it with some kind of fancy Nova thing. But when he tested it, the power cut for some reason, and it seemed to make the thing go kaput. Well, if you're just gonna let us in... Oh, it's Kaney! Hi, Kaney! Uh, you're half yokai, they still let you in. You! Oh, I can tell you're looking for something. You should go right from here. That's where everyone should be waiting. I'll be going there too, soon enough. Well, we're gonna go the opposite direction. You have nothing much to do over there, don't waste your time. Two of you have, uh, have three eyes. You should be keeping at least one of them out. Now what about four? Oh. Wait. Her, her name was misspelled on that last one. <laughs> was that intentional? You never know. I have but one thing to say. I'm still a superlative speaker. I use plenty of lip and tongue action. Let me demonstrate. I have no idea what to expect from these guys. Not bad for experience. And Sho's attack was both her Danmaku and uh, I think was that a sound effect from Dragon Quest? Yep. These guys are definitely hitting us a lot harder. Sho dumping something such a worry ward over Hijri, otherwise we're not gonna get anywhere. Uh, so that's where we learned something. I was healing bait, I think. You're gonna seem to have the key to open this. We like to switch up our references. We don't believe in beating dead horses. We're pigs! Naturally vital signs and freight is folks of the world of the gods. Oh, you got two out of three there. I can't think about that. I'm probably best off using regular attacks though with show backing us up. I wanna go sweepy bye. Tap the bottom rhythmically with the beat, but <laughs> I haven't been keeping track of my combo count this video either. It hasn't been very high, as far as I can tell. Uh, I'd rather go to a dead end room, because there might be stuff in there. No, I'll stand corrected on this point. Oh, we got plenty of other rooms to look for. Lately, I've been trying to find a stockpile of serious lines to deliver. Reminds me of uh, Alexia's comment on Wild Arms Crossfire. Where she uh, comments that the people retreating from them are horrible at taking one liners, that's what it was. I don't remember that quote. <laughs> oh, that experience, not bad. Oh, uh, this is the same... Probably the same file used for that dead-end map screen. Excuse me? How are we doing on time? Ah, there we are. The 
H cell battery. Oh, Satori, definitely. Since she is our mage. Piggy, I want to be the hero! You're gonna be the zero! Ha 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 ha! Oh, show your curry laser to hit one guy. Uh, was that a tackled or a tickled? I I'm not reading these <laughs> slowly enough. But you never know what you're gonna think. Did you know there are three kinds of Toho fan? Those who like the games, those who like the music, and those who have never played the games but go crazy for fan works. I am all three! And you are... I can afford a throw. And a beam. Ah, uh, we didn't even need you for that one, Shell. Side block Alpha. And nothing from Satori. Disable Side from a target. That may come in handy. Alright. Just to be on the safe side, there's no guarantee the Magic Butterfly will totally heal us. Which is party into Magic Butterfly. Which is party feel very relaxed. Uh -oh. Delicious! Indeed. Yeah, just heal some side points. Maybe we'll get another one. Nope. I made the needle joke earlier. I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> you can't read the outside world moon runes, but it would seem this is someone's room. What's that? Are they capable of making that? Yokai sighted. Yokai have been identified as obstructions. They shall be paraded around the city and then promptly decapitated. Alert the authorities. Commencing danger management processes. Proto Ente Cyborg Aggressed! That sounds like a bad Sailor Moon dump name now that I think about it. Stop worrying, show. We need you here. Not uh, the screen should be missed. Okay. That PK throw is a game breaker. Holy, that was three turns, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is the end of chapter boss. And I apologize if the chat isn't working. I'm not seeing anything. If you're saying anything there, guys. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna save if. It'll let me. It won't, won't let me out. Hey! Here's your, 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 here's but thank you. Is she really? I knew all that fancy getup was just for show. Shut it. Anyhow, did you find it? No, I said it's a sister too, but it seems she's still looking. I see. It'd certainly be nice to have it right now if we could. Well, no helping it. It's fine. They're the understanding type. You must believe, show. Believe in the humans of this age. I'm glad there are good people among you. After all, I don't have any of my friends here. Ah, our new leader. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Dun dun dun! Incoming nerd voice! Hello, I'm Jeff, it seems. I've taken the positions of the human's leader. I can't shake the feeling I've seen you somewhere. I'm happy to meet you as well. So, Jeff, why is it you've called me? If I'm not mistaken, you're a human who was sealed away by the other humans long ago. As such, I had a number of reasons to seek a conversation with you. What kind of events transpired to make this town into what it is now? The humans here are now considering the ones you called Yokai their enemies. 
However, while you are mostly human, you're also an ally to Yokai. So first, I want to ask you a question. Why did this happen? Excuse me, but I need to ask you something first. Do you like Yokai or not? To say it so broadly, well, I'm not so sure. Yet, if all Yokai are like you, then surely I have no reason to hate them. Well, I'm just glad you're honest. To be truthful, way back when I was sealed, people were a lot like they are now. They wanted to ruin Yokai, and to take the world for themselves. I couldn't just overlook the casual day-to-day -day oppression of the Yokai. So even though I was human, I would at least be out one ally to Yokai, so I thought. There's no need for anyone to hate another. People in Yokai, they only differ in their powers. I knew we could walk the same path together. And that's what I wanted to prove. But, some wanted to put a stop to that. Hedri, you said enough about the past. So I see. Miss Hedri, this duty, quite frankly, is too heavy for me alone. You and I appear to think very much alike. If possible, I'd like you to assist me. I, well, I only knew, just came here about a week ago, but... Just from listening to the townspeople's pleas, I can tell this is an important duty. And honestly, I'm still pretty clueless. But if you would agree to help me out, I feel like we can do anything. What are you talking about, Mr. Jeff? What are you, all you doing here? Don't you know this isn't the time or place to be fighting? Mr. Jeff, these fiends destroyed the NK cyborg you just repaired. If you leave it like that, the yokai might get the upper hand again. We'll go back to the days of the yokai fear, to the Stone Age before King P came along. Mr. Jeff, you're a human too. Why aren't you fighting these yokai? Hey now, the yokai bought us to Remu. I see you're here too. What? What's that mean? Is this how it'll be, no matter what I do? Why is it the humans won't change even after countless eons? Hey, isn't it yokai that never change? Why do you jerks have to hunt down humans? Yeah, freak yokai, so just try it. Just shove us humans out of Kinsokyo then. If you hate us so much, then be rid of us and live without our nonsense. Ah uh, no, that's stupid. If that were to happen, Kinsokyo would be ruined. Oh really? Well then, we'll just have to keep fighting until it makes a damn yokai scream. And if you don't fight, you won't survive. What on earth? Is that how the humans really feel? Yes, 100% from the heart. Well, geez, when you say it, it sounds extra hopeless. Why in the... Why, Reimu? If this is how things really are, then what are we fighting for? What did we hope to achieve? Because this seems to say we lost! Actually, I was the one who repaired the NK cyborg that was in the other room. And I foolishly told them of all the theories and principles employed in the machine. Why would you repair such a thing for them? Or actually, before I came to town, I was almost eaten by a yokai. Though it was not a particularly bright yokai, in either sense of the word. Then the pig mass appeared and they rescued me. So I simply wanted to repay the people who saved my life by imparting some knowledge. It's probably gotten around to nearly everyone by now. Jeff, I'll stick with you, and you'll stick with me. You're one of the only humans I can trust. You, Marissa, and Remu. And right now, you look like you need the help. We will all be at your side. So please, don't give in. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? The screen's fading black. No one seeks to do wrong. No one seeks to be evil. It is simply circumstance that can give way to it. It is possible that until now, the residents of Gensokyo never once realized their respective views of each other's standing. A yokai was simply to be exterminated. A human was simply to be attacked. Taking such things for granted made their world. However, even to this day, it appears Porky's influence continues to add fuel to the fires of their hate. Steadily, everything is changing for the worse. Earlier totally unaware of just how much Gensokyo had changed, Kuishi and Satori are deeply shocked by what they've seen. Even Reimu and the rest, having had all reason for their struggle overturned, find themselves again in despair. And further influence still, some have even lost people who are like family to them. Can this new leader, Jeff, put the humans in their place? Is the bond between humans and yokai which Byakuren preaches even a possibility now? And so the first tale begins, with hardship and anxiety looming ahead.
led me to save the progress of your adventure thus far. Well, that's a good stopping point as any. It's been uh, about 55 minutes, so I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I, since tomorrow's a holiday, I'll be recording part three tomorrow, and oh, this is... I'm still super excited for this. I want to keep playing, but I have other things to do. So, uh, go ahead and sign off here. You guys have a good Sunday. I'm Gun Arm Dine. Call me Dine. And if life is giving you a hard day, don't be afraid to eat your pudding with a fork. You guys take care. <laughs>